Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, I Smoke Pen Caps, here with another video, and I thought I'd show you something. So, I was on this video called 36 Stupid Questions Women Had for Men Answered. It's on Dr. Shame's YouTube channel. Now, I don't have fancy editing, so you're just gonna have to take my word. That's capital D, lowercase r, dot, no space, capital S, lowercase h, Y-A-M. I assume that's how he spelled shame. <clears throat> now, this one lady said, Not all women, just like you claim not all men at 2.48, I think. And so I said, Not all women, just most women. Kind of to piss her off, not really. More is a point that I got a lot of shit to deal with. Anyway, and then she said, not all men are rapists, just most men. Not all men are sexist, just most men. And I go on this argument with this one lady who's all like, um, <clears throat> not, you really are a bigot, bullshit, blah, blah, blah. And then I say, you know what? I'm going to be the bigger person because I'm sick of hearing this conversation. So what I end up doing is, um, oh yeah, I say, you know what? I d I don't want I'm tired of this conversation. I'm just going to be the bigger person and say I don't care. Well, not that. That would have been a good thing to say though. I would have said should have said What should have I said? Oh yeah, I said listen here. I don't care what people do, how they do it. You be yourself. You fight for what you believe in. It's not my table. Go have fun. Enjoy it. I don't give a fuck. And they're like, thank you for being the bigger person. I'm like, yeah, no problem. And then the main person that wrote that comment said, sorry if my camera works a little shit. <clears throat> she said, women, men can't be feminists. It's only a woman issue. Or I spoke pen caps, you're sexist or some bullshit like that. And I'm like, first of all, I didn't read your whole comment. You talked about, like, periods and shit. I'm like, what do periods have to do with this? Anyway, and I said, look, I feel like men, women, trans people, they can all be feminists. I support it. Now, I support the feminist movement that believes in, like, helping women in third world countries get their immigration rights or getting equal pay. I mean, the abortion thing kind of scares me because I could have been aborted. And innocent kids are getting aborted. But I, hey, that's your choice and not mine. So and do whatever the fuck you want. And, <clears throat> sorry, got something in my throat. Eventually, I go on a rant. I'm like, well, if you're going to ban Father's Day, I should know about it. It's not just a man, it's not just a woman movement, it's a man movement. And I should be able to know. You're going to ban Father's Day? Well, I'm going to ban abortions. Yeah. So that way, overpopulation will take over the earth. And and whores... Wait, okay. I'm sorry. I got a little pissed off. What I'm trying to say is, if they want to ban Father's Day, that's like me banning their reproductive rights. And then the earth is overpopulated by crotch goblins from one night stands that either the condom broke, they didn't pull out in time, or they just felt like fucking. Now, there are some people out there that say, yeah, baby, I'm going to fuck you till we're homeless. And they have, like, fucking ten kids. One boy, ten girls, one traded for the world. It's the Loud House. More like, bitch, oh, no, you bought a condom. God damn, buy a damn condom. Or pills or something. You have so many kids. You only need one. I hate that show. I think I made a video about it, but then deleted it. The point of this video is that feminists always want to have the last word until you back down or apologize. So I'm awaiting resp a response from Unsweetened Lemonade. Hello, Unsweetened Lemonade. I'm here to say, maybe you should just chill the fuck out, all right? Try getting on some prescription meds, because I'm on lithium and geodon, and I'm high off my ass most of the time I make these videos. And I'm chill as fuck until somebody comes around and says, Hey, I smoke pen caps. Fuck you for being a person. And I'm like, well, fuck me. You see, men are fucking people too. You see, I'm a man. I got balls. Yeah, I got fucking package. But 
what women don't seem to get is men are pigs, but we want to be equal to men. Well, if you want to be equal to fucking men, here's what you got to do. Start paying for your own goddamn dinner. Start buying your own damn shoes and maybe work instead of gold digging. I can't tell you how many times I've got my heart broke. Once was from a transgender person. I have that video up here who had a girlfriend that, who was a she turning to a he had a boy, a girlfriend that got my heart broke. I thought about that every time I jacked off. I'm like, oh my God, I hope you're out there. I miss you. You're so mysterious. Please have me back. Then we got uh, Lang Think. Oh yeah. Uh, well, I'm not going to say any names, but that lady, fuck her. She, um, she lied about being a lesbian. Then she flirted with some other guy, gave him a blowjob in the bathroom, and now they're, and then she left and they never talked again. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? She was severely psychologically damaged, but, um, apparently not, a, not a psycho psychologically damaged enough to give some black dude a blowjob. <clears throat> and I've been, and I had my heart broke or rejected so many times that I'm sick of dating. I'm sick of women. I like being bisexual. The great thing about being bisexual is you can fuck whoever you want. Actually, no, I think I'm pansexual because I can fuck trans people too. Point is, I'll fuck anybody. Men, women, the elderly, furries, bronies. Fucking, I don't know, trans, dykes, whatever you want. Uh, I am so fucking angry that these women think they own men and can ban Father's Day. And now my face is turning red. And I look like a fucking tomato. I hope you're happy, unsweetened lemonade, for your narrow-minded views. I support you. Go out and do more women's marches until you get a dollar to a dollar instead of 78 whatever the fuck cents. But I don't get it. You say 72 cents, 78 cents. Well, get your fucking story straight. How many cents are you paid or to a dollar? Seriously. And like, I think if I went to work, I wouldn't be emotional. Now, the thing is, women have periods, men don't. And, oh shit. You know what? We may be running out of time, but I'm still going to say it. I've seen this commercial for this thing called a GoPro or a fucking P-Master. Fucking whiz jizzer. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. And it's like, oh, we are oppressed because men can pee standing up and women have to pee sitting down. Does that look like equality? Bitch, no. It looks like biological basic bullshit. Now... I wish I didn't have testicles, so I couldn't get kicked in them. I can't tell you how many times I got kicked in my testicles and went, Man, if only my testicles were on the inside of my nuts. Wait, not that. If they were on the inside of my body. And then women, they don't have to worry about that, but they got tits. So you can, like, fucking titty twister, and they're like, Ow! And I'm like, yeah. You have tits, we have balls. You sit down when you pee. Like, who gives a flying fuck? If you pee sitting down, if you want to pee standing up, spread your vagina like on the wiki how. Or just fucking squat over it. I don't give a fuck if it's not equal. We are equal. We are all people. Whether you're a trans person, whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, we are all equal as people. We were created by some up there guy. I don't know if it's God. I don't know if it's Muhammad ah fucking Lee or whoever the fuck created us, but somebody's up there thinking, what the fuck did I do? They're all fighting and killing each other when we could have achieved world peace by s in a garden naked, but because some fucker decided to give us forbidden fruit, now we're stuck here. I think I made my point. I'm sorry, all right? I'm just pissed off that feminists are trying to change shit that's been going on for centuries. You've had the right to vote for almost 200 fucking years. And women are more likely to vote than men. Most lesbian relationships have more domestic abuse than gay relationships. Most domestic abuse comes from women. And what else? You tried to you barge in 
on international men's conferences. Try to get International Men's Day banned. Try to get Father's Day banned. Ban men from college campuses. Take away our reproductive rights. And then take the fucking kids. So, how are you? We don't have privilege. You have privilege. Because in the state attorney law of Massachusetts, it says that a woman gets the kids by default unless the man can prove that the woman is unfit to care for the children. That's my fucking point. Now, I hope everybody gets a message that we are all people, equal. We all, we all shit, we all piss, we all eat, we all sleep. Unless you're some superhuman, I don't know what to tell you. Now, I hope you all have a great fucking life and a great day. And that future generations find this video on the internet and think. Yeah. Why the fuck is everybody having... Oh, that's another thing. Do you think in the year 2075, if this planet's not fucking dead from heat exhaustion, do you think the kids are going to, like, have multicolored hair and all the babies are going to be gender neutral and fucking each other? They're going to be like, yay, party. I'm going to be like, no, you're fucking four. And I just don't get how people like that are 14 are transgendered at this age. It's like... How the fuck can you get pills, estrogen pills, fucking snick cutsies at this age? I see, I'm seeing some shit. I've seen some serious shit! Most of that shit is bullshit. Fucking retarded, cunty, ass-mongering bullshit. I hope y'all have a great day. Bye.